Really stressful. I haven't been in this situation before. Mm. By the way, I'm really sorry about all of this. I don't know why I went all out just to go to the dentist today. I was going on my daily walk. I was just casually checking out some doctors practices because obviously i just moved here and i want to know where to go in a case of an emergency so i also just went into some dental practices and i went into one and they had a free appointment today for a dental cleaning and that's where i'm heading i hope they're good like back at home for years i've only gone to the same dentist and even when i was living in london or living in other cities in germany i would still make my appointment and travel all the way just to go to that practice hope they're good because i'm only used to a really good private practice i'm excited love getting my teeth cleaned and now as always the lighting is better as i'm leaving the house and i'm also a little bit late so i will just say well go <laughs> I don't know why I just did this. I can't look at this mess. Oh my god. Ew, I really have to get a dresser or something that will fix all of this. <laughs> I hate mess. But I'm literally running late because I couldn't find my AirPods. And turns out I already put them in my jacket. Luckily, the practice is right around my corner. So I literally just have to walk five minutes. But it's still very annoying. I wanted to be there already. And now I'm super late. Should I? Oh my god. Oh, I want a good one so badly. Waschen und trocknen. Let's see. This one is really pretty. I think I have decided on one um, and I'm gonna buy it now but now I'm also looking at something else because I made the decision of walking into the Urban Outfitters the other week and they had a vinyl record player on sale I didn't get it, now it's not on sale anymore but now I'm really playing with the idea of getting a record player and I haven't been... oh my god this used like this these aisles of DVD and CDs and whatnot in music or my childhood we used to come here and also with my late grandma she always used to get me a dvd or a cd for my birthday so we always went into Müllermarkt or saturn or Mielmarkt. so it's always very nostalgic coming back here but yes i'm looking at the vinyls for the first time i've never listened to vinyls but now suddenly i want one because it's just so cute I went into a lot of record stores in London and now the idea of having one is just really appealing. so pretty oh my god i was like wow these look so nice what are those but these are literally <gasps> oh my god the times where i bought k-pop albums i can't spending all my money on these like these are literal works of art i'm so happy that i'm not obsessed anymore because i would be poor <gasps> Ooh. and they are literally they look so nice to collect <gasps> oh my god when i used to listen to k-pop there was not a single album. I got all of my albums in Korea. This li literally looks so aesthetic. What the fuck? Wow. So 
so much anime now too. Like this was not the situation just a few years ago when I was a teen. Obsessed. Thank you, Saturn. The shoppers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question you've probably been dying to ask How was the dentist appointment? <laughs> My teeth are clean again Literally, I've seen so many TikToks of like people saying what their icks are now on TikTok And this is actually also one of mine I hate this floor still And also, what's really annoying I left the practice at 3 and then I thought why not head into the city real quick to look for the basket I want to put my hoodies in but I didn't want to drive around for one hour each way to go to Ikea to get the stupid fucking box and I couldn't find the kind of box anywhere so I ended up walking around all of Central Berlin three hours anyway so I could have just gone there and I would have been quicker okay well it's Ikea so we never know I probably would have spent longer there and spent more money so maybe it was good but I have to go there anyways like I probably go there anyways tomorrow to just get it because I can't be bothered I literally just want all of my clothes that are laying around that are still in my suitcase <laughs> I just want to get it done and out of the way because I hate mess so much and I'm literally living here I don't know how I've been who's that I'm literally so creepy that was one of my neighbors <laughs> but yeah everything's just lying around i don't know how i've been surviving i mean i've been on the road a lot so i don't really see this when i don't want to but yes i just have to get the job done today was very a really weird day so now i will get to work and enjoy my warm soy milk with maple syrup i think it steams it's a bit steamy you can't see never mind so good because I want to break the habit of eating sweets in the evening. It's okay, but it's not good for my teeth and not good for my face. And I don't think it's that good for my health either. So I'm shut up now. I get to work. I'm so tired today. Um, I might look like an egg. It's the next day and I'm also a bit annoyed. That's also why I look extra tired. It's just my annoyed face, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's 9 a.m. and um, I made the decision to just go to Ikea because I can't live with this anymore. I have to get this stupid box. I'm going there for one box. One hour. <laughs> each way also a little update on my teeth cleaning my teeth never hurt before like my teeth never hurt after because my teeth are now so sensitive she used like this 
thingy that I've never seen before in my life. It was very uncomfortable, like to the point where it kind of hurt actually. And now my teeth really hurt. So I don't know what that woman did. I don't think I'll be going back and I hope my teeth are still fine. Wait a minute, hold on. Down for you catch a feeling. You don't know this where I've been. I have been a minute. I've been trying to take my time because it's been a minute. Really, all I'm looking for is Mrs. Innocent. So I just came back from IQ. Oh my god. And now I just wanted to quickly show you what I got. In the end, I couldn't decide on which like basket to get because this is the one I originally wanted. But as I said before, I want to put my hoodies and clothes in there. It's already falling apart. And if I put my clothes in there, I don't want them to get destroyed. I really like the way this looks, but I don't know if this will be the right thing for my clothes. So I also looked at this one. This is like the typical IKEA or like storage. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. And I actually think this could also be very nice. And as you can see, this wouldn't destroy my clothes. And I actually think this is quite nice. So maybe I got this for nothing i also got this one for my chair but looking at my chair i don't know if it will fit on my chair mm. but um it's very uncomfortable to sit on i've been sitting on the <laughs> like i've literally been working this is my workstation because my chair is so uncomfortable i also got this because it was cheap i like the design it really doesn't fit my interior but i just thought i could also put it on my chair for my back because i mean as cheap as they were they're not the best to like work or sit on and i also oh these actually smell quite nice <laughs> i couldn't smell them in the ikea like i didn't know what they smelled like but they're almond and cherry and they look really nice i just got them because they were on sale and I also bought another bag, so now I have three IKEA bags because I was stupid enough not to bring mine. It actually also looks quite nice together. So this is the stuff I got from my hopefully last IKEA run. Four times in three weeks is enough. And also I will unpack my mirror that I got with my brother last time. Hello. Okay, so welcome to the part that I probably want to keep my hoodies in. I already put some there because I honestly I couldn't take looking at everything stacked on my dresser anymore I'm already so glad that I did what I did oh my god I'm so glad I got this one actually because I don't think the other one is too good for my clothes like it will destroy it oh my god everything fits so well I think I can actually put all of my big chunky sweaters okay let's see what this looks like does this look nice? It doesn't look nice. Oh, it doesn't look nice. Well, this is not a vibe. Oh, it looks so bad. Uh, ew. Oh, this one would look better, but it will literally destroy my clothes. I mean, another thing I could do is just put it on top of my dresser, but that would probably also look really stupid. And let's try it. If I just put this on here. No, this is honestly this is not right though. Okay, well I still don't know what to do about my shelf situation or my hoodies. At this point I don't know if I will let you know. I might figure it out. 
because this is the only reason I kind of went to Ikea so yeah that's kind of frustrating at least I have three new candles that I didn't need I just want to be done with everything I love moving but like moving with a full-time job and like other projects is like it's really really stressful I haven't been in this situation before also this is the mirror I got um, last time I went to Ikea with my brother I found these really random books on the side of the street because this is actually something that happens a lot in Berlin people just put out their stuff on the street and you can take it it happens a lot with clothes as well it's very normal here obviously the clothes don't look too fresh anymore after certain days it's something very normal in case you didn't know but this is what she looks like I actually really like it Ooh actually take quite good full body pictures also there's something else kind of smaller that i wanted to address but oh i mean you probably saw it anyways and i'm actually so embarrassed to show this but i will probably not go to any more nail salons because i've been three times once was very good the other two times were just catastrophes and i've been to one in january and i'm so embarrassed because they look so bad and they keep breaking off and honestly this part like the white part keeps going lower and lower because i just think they're so broken um but i love the fantasy of having like long done nails first of all i don't really think it suits me that well so i don't know why i did it okay i know why i did it because i think it looks really nice and i think we're kind of pressure like as female presenting people that you don't look put together if you don't get your nails done but that salon fucked up my nails really really good i went there in january in preparation for fashion week in london paris and milan and i wanted to have like nice nails i guess my nails actually looked really nice the day i went there they were just a bit brittle and i just wanted to look presentable i guess and then i went there and it was horrible I even went back and told them to redo my nails and now they... I will just not go to a nail salon anymore. I give up. So bad. So, so bad. 